I don't like the word new anymore, but that's really the only word we have for it. It's like this, when, when there's something that I don't know yet, I feel doubtful about it and I'm scared and I, I don't want to expose myself to it. What made me want to work with Markus for this project was that I actually wanted to hear him write as a composer. I knew his work for a long time. I mean, we met several years ago. Um, he was mainly doing experimental electronic music, rock music. It was very diverse, but I really wanted to hear him compose a string quartet. There's a lot of great string quartets in the world, um, but not all of them play that much modern or contemporary music. And the Matangi have done both, or more. Uh, so they definitely were the right people to ask. And Dirk said, oh, I think you play this new music very well. Uh, I know a nice composer who wants to record his uh, string quartets. and." Um, would you feel good about doing that also? And um, as, as we are very fond of new music and uh, we also think it's very important to play new music, uh, we said yes. There are a lot of uh, uh, interesting uh, um, music that I'm not 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 now uh, talking about uh, the, the Beethoven's and the and the Mozart were recorded all hundreds of times, but like this, this should be also recorded because I don't think that many people know that, know about this music, uh, and uh, that's also. Uh, one of our goals is to string quartet also play music but is not really often heard. They are highly complex pieces. Um, they all are very different from each other. Um, while interestingly, uh, what we notice now when we're, while we're recording it is they all have sort of, um, they all are linked together by something that is not really, um, it's not, a, you can't really pinpoint what it is, but there's something there that, that makes them connected. Um, and when you look at, at the notes on paper, then, you know, it's, it's very difficult to get an idea of how it's going to sound. It's as though it's in between, always in between something. Never arriving, always moving, never arriving. Um, going somewhere, but you never quite sure where. Um, it opens up and then it closes again. It, it doesn't ever really resolve, but if you look at it from the whole picture, then it has, um, then it still has a direction. And I think that's very exciting. Yeah, for, I really see the collection of pieces more as a, a songbook, um, and and it's, you know so I, I wrote these eight pieces to to work together as a, a recorded album, and I I don't think and I don't see the whole suite to be performed um, in a in a concert, but just individual songs, individual movements. I think that recording technology, along with the traditional way of writing down the score, that combination is wonderful because you can kind of pass on more than you can actually really write down. You can pass on an attitude 
and a vibe, uh, which is really hard to 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 just write into the score. Mm. So it's it's an interesting, um, and I'm, and I feel actually I feel privileged that I can work this way. What uh, Marcus and I talked about is that, uh, given the way th his music is written and also a little bit how he is linked to other musical genres, we wanted to get a sound that is, um, that is clear, that is direct, that um, has richness in sound. Um, I wouldn't call it massive, but it has to have weight. Um, but at the same time, there needs to be a connection to classical music, to what people are used to in classical music to hear. Um, and I think in this church uh, and the way the, the Mark Twain part plays, um, I think we found the right combination. Well, one, one of the uh, original ideas for a title uh, was and people turned around. And that's really what I'm hoping for this music to do for people. I want people to uh, have their interest peaked, you know? I want them to say, okay, what is this? This is interesting.